friends welcome in our own teacher channel class 10th science part 1 workshop of lesson number 5 heat before starting the workshop please subscribe my channel to get notification touch the bell icon question 1 fill in the blanks and rewrite the sentence a the amount of water vapor in air is determined in terms of its absolute humidity b if objects of equal masses are given equal heat their final temperature will be different this is due to difference in their specific heat capacities c during transformation of liquid phase to solid phase the latent heat is given off question 2 observe the following graph considering the change in volume of water as its temperature is raised from 0 degree celsius discuss the difference in the behavior of water and other substances what is the behavior of water called liquid expand on heating and contract on cooling but water exhibits an exceptional behavior in temperature range of 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius when water is heated from 0 degree celsius up to 4 degree celsius instead of expanding it contracts its volume decreases continuously from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius at 4 degree celsius its volume is minimum upon heating further however it expands and its volume increases this behavior of water between temperature interval of 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius is called anomalous behavior of water question 3 what is meant by specific heat capacity how will you prove experimentally that different substances have different specific heat capacities the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of a unit mass of an object by 1 degree celsius is called the specific heat or specific heat capacity of that object experiment solid spheres of iron copper and lead of equal mass are taken and placed into boiling water in the baker till they attain temperature of 100 degree celsius these spheres are then immediately placed on the thick slab of wax simultaneously it is observed that each of the spheres reaches different depth in the wax slab iron sphere goes deepest followed by copper and then lead sphere the sphere that absorbs more heat from water supplies more heat to wax causing more melting of wax and going deeper in wax this proves that for equal rise in temperature the three spheres have absorbed different amount of heat and possess different specific heat capacities question 4 while deciding the unit for heat which temperature's interval is chosen why while deciding the unit of heat temperature interval chosen is 14.5 degree celsius to 15.5 degree celsius reason 
when 1 kg of water is heated through 1 degree celsius in various temperature ranges the amount heat required to raise temperature by 1 degree celsius varies slightly from range to range hence it is essential to define a specific temperature range while defining unit of heat Question 5 Explain the following temperature versus time graph This graph demonstrates the behavior of water when heated continuously and uniformly Line segment AB denotes conversion of ice at 0 degree Celsius into water at 0 degree Celsius Line segment BC indicates continuous rise in temperature of water from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius at point c boiling point of water is reached and heat energy supplied further is used to convert water into steam line segment cd denotes conversion of water at 100 degree celsius into steam at 100 degree celsius Question 6 explain the following A what is the role of anomalous behavior of water in preserving aquatic life in regions of cold climate In cold climate water contracts as a result the density of water increases and it goes down to replace it warmer water from below rises up this process continues till temperature of water at the bottom of pond becomes 4 degree celsius water due to its anomalous behavior possesses maximum density at 4 degree celsius if the temperature lower further ice is formed at the surface of pond below it ice being poor conductor of heat blocks the further heat exchange between atmosphere and water in the pond this maintains temperature of water below surface of ponds or lakes at 4 degree celsius enabling survival of aquatic plants and animals how can you relate the formation of water droplets on the outer surface of a bottle taken out of refrigerator with formation of dew when temperature of air at down falls air becomes saturated with vapor as a result the excess vapor condenses on surface of object in the form of dew when a bottle is taken out from refrigerator it cools the air surrounding it air in vicinity becomes saturated with vapor and excess vapor condenses on the surface of bottle in the form of water droplets thus both the phenomena take place due to air reaching its dew point temperature In cold regions in winter the rocks crack due to anomalous expansion of water when water is accumulated in a fissure of rock as temperature in cold climate dips below 4 degree celsius water starts expanding instead of contracting between temperature fall of 4 degree celsius to 0 degree celsius volume of water increases continuously due to anomalous behavior of water at the same time rocks undergo contraction as a result rocks experience force applied by water and crack question 7 answer the following What is meant by latent heat? 
how will the state of matter transform if latent heat is given off the heat energy required to change substance from one state to another at constant temperature is called as latent heat of substance when latent heat is given off the bonding between atom or molecule of a substance strengthens causing transformation from one state to another for example from gaseous state to liquid state or liquid state to solid state which principle is used to measure the specific heat capacity of a substance principle of heat exchange is used to measure the specific heat capacity of a substance explain the role of latent heat in the change of state of a substance the heat energy required to change substance from one state to another at constant temperature is called as latent heat of substance when latent heat is supplied to a substance it is utilized for weakening the bonds between atoms or molecules of the substance when solid substance is provided with latent heat of fusion it changes into liquid state similarly when liquid substance is provided with latent heat of vaporization it changes into gaseous state conversely when latent heat is released from a substance it results into strengthening the bonds between atoms or molecules causing change of state of the substance when a liquid substance gives off latent heat of fusion it changes into solid similarly when a gaseous substance gives off latent heat of vaporization it changes into liquid on what basis and how will you determine whether air is saturated with vapor or not when air is saturated with vapor excess vapor condenses on the surface of object in the form of water droplets presence of water droplets affirms that air is saturated with vapor question 8 read the following paragraph and answer the questions if heat is exchanged between a hot and cold object the temperature of the cold object goes on increasing due to gain of energy and the temperature of the hot object goes on decreasing due to loss of energy the change in temperature continues till the temperature of both the objects attain the same value in this process the cold object gains heat energy and the hot object loses heat energy if the system of both object is isolated from the environment by keeping it inside a heat resistance box then no energy can flow from inside the box or come into the box heat is transferred from where to where heat is transferred from hot object to cold object which principle do we learn about from this process principle of heat exchange we learned from this process how will you state the principle briefly 
as inside the heat resistance box the heat lost by hot object exactly equals heat gain by cooled object principle of heat exchange is state as heat lost by hot object is equal to heat gain by cooled object which property of the substance is measured using this principle specific heat capacity of object is measured using this principle question 9 solve the following problems for this question friends don't forget to see workshop 2 of this lesson next video of my channel till then bye friends